Cubbies? Last week, our good friend Cubby Bear was looking for his family. Let's call Cubby and see if he found them. One, two, three, Cubby! Hi, everybody! Cubby, why are you so excited today? In a few minutes, I'm going to take a picture of my family. Cubby, that means you found your family. Where did you find them? <laughs> well, it all started this morning. Timothy, Katie, and Lovey came running to meet me under my favorite apple tree. They were in a hurry. Timothy figured out that since I was a bear, my family would be bears too. Ruff, ruff. Most bears live in the forest. There are no bear families who live at Apple Acres Farm. Wait, does that mean you need to live in the forest? That's what I thought at first. I really wanted to find my family, but I didn't want to leave Apple Acres Farm. Timothy lives there, and so do Katie and Lovey. Well, and I'm sure you'd miss them. Yes, and I'd miss all the apple trees filled with yummy apples. Mmm! So, did you decide to leave Apple Acres Farm and go live in the forest? Nope, he didn't. Cubby had a better plan. I did! Timothy said that the people and families love each other and take care of one another. Well, they do. Timothy, Katie Collie, and Lovey Lamb all love me and help take care of me. So I asked them if they could be my family. Someday, maybe my bear family will come and find me. But until then, I'll be happy with my Apple Acres family. Well, I'm happy for you, Cubby. So am I. You are my favorite bear on our farm. <laughs> I'm the only bear on our farm. Well, sounds like the search is over. Yep, and now I'm going to take a picture of my new family. Are you ready to get our picture taken, Katie? I sure am. Let's go find Timothy and Lovey Lamb. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, Cubby. Bye, Katie. All right, boys and girls, it sounds like Cubby Bear has found a different family to be a part of. And today in our lesson, we're going to learn about all the different families that God created. Bye, Cubbies. I'll see you next week.